you won't humble yourself and believe and repent. Hallelujah. Hosea chapter 7 verse 13. Hosea 7 and 13. Woe unto them, for they have fled from me. Destruction unto them, because they have transgressed against me. Though I have redeemed them, yet they have spoken lies against me. <clears throat> So the Most High knows exactly what's going on with all of his people, with the ten tribes of the northern kingdom and with the southern kingdom. He knows exactly how we're acting. He knows that we've been caught up in all these different religions. He said, they have fled from, from me. He says, woe unto them. <laughs> He's like, I, I love you. You're my children. You're my people. But woe be unto you. Since you don't want to serve me, hallelujah. You, you're running away from me like a spoiled brat. Want to do it, your own thing? <clears throat> because they have transgressed against me. They want to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. Though I have redeemed them, yet they have spoken lies against me. I've sent my son to be the perpetuation for their sin, to re redeem them back unto me. That they spoke in lies against me. They said that I sent my son to save everybody. <laughs> I only sent my son to save them. But they said, no, he, he, my son, Yahweh, Yahuwah come, Yahweh shot, Yahuwah, Yahusha, he come to save everybody. That's not true. He only gave his life for the 12 tribes of Israel. That's why he came. That's why he gave his life, and that's why he's coming back for the 12 tribes of Israel. But your religions tell you another thing, and that's why you're deceived. That's why you believe those lies. That's why those religions are a strong delusion. <clears throat> and you believe it. Hallelujah. Hosea chapter 7, verse 14. Hosea 7 and 14. And 